What's up, Aries? Hey, I hope you guys are doing great. I uh, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Uh, lots of good time with uh, times with friends and family. I hope the energy was good. Um, I just want to say thank you, a quick thank you, quick shout out to all of my uh, supporters out there, to any newcomers. Uh, you guys are amazing and beautiful, and um, I, I am just so grateful to each and every one of you guys. So we are going to go ahead and jump into this reading for you, Aries. I'm going to try to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Um, so it doesn't always turn out that way, right? So remember, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, if you are looking for a personal read, you can find my details in the description box below. I do have a few openings available for the rest of the month. And um, please remember, um, if I didn't say it already, uh, take what resonates, you know, leave the rest for someone else and like, uh, comment, subscribe. If you feel like doing so, it helps me to grow the channel and it helps circulate these videos out. You never know um, who might need to hear this message today. All right, here we go. Aries, what's going on for Aries spirit? What is going on for Aries? Okie dokie. So someone's all up in their thoughts. Someone's spying. Someone's watching. Um, someone's thinking about a new beginning. Oh, someone, okay, let's keep going. So we have the Eight of Cups here. Someone is spying on someone having a new beginning. Someone walked away. It's codependent get energies here at a distance. Hmm. Wow. Aries, Leo, Sag, right there on the table. So we've got a lot of fire energy going on. I've got Capricorn here. Um, we've got, you know, someone walking away. Now we've got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What does my Aries? Someone's regretful about walking away from their wish fulfillment. That's what I'm being told. Someone's regretful about too much drinking and putting someone in a competition. Ugh, yucky. Yuck, yuck. Someone's uh, spying on because they want to have a new beginning with someone here and they want to walk away from the devil energy. They want to move towards calmer waters. They're working on putting something down here with this Queen of Wands. So someone's hyper-focused on a Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep. They are completely focused on this uh, Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is a single queen. She's usually divorced. She's, you know, separated from, from someone. But she's a, an obs -er queen. You know, she's got her shit together. Um, she's also got her familiar there. You know, Gemini's are very intuitive, very connected to the spirit realm. They know, like, you can't hide things from a Gemini, I'm just saying. Um, and notice, like, for, for Gemini, this is interesting, guys. So, the Queen of Wands here, there's all this uh, fiery, passionate energy um, they're, they, they can be pretty manipulating of all the Queens. They're going to play with magic. They're going to, they're going to play in the darkness and, and manipulate things. Um, the queen of, uh, swords is like the queen of swords is surrounded by doves. Like look at all the doves on the queen of swords and that Gemini energy right? Even the cat's white. This is someone who works in the light. So like this, this is someone, someone is spying on a Gemini. I'm telling you, uh, they've been dealing with the devil. They're dealing with karma right now. I just saw the wheel on the bottom, you know, it's, it can be the wheel of fortune, but this is the wheel of karma right now. Oof. 
Yeah, they are spying on their empress. They're getting karma. I think this queen of swords is the empress. It's like someone, someone, uh, <laughs> I get it now, Aries. Someone here um, was in devil energy uh, at a distance. It was like they were playing with two energies here. They were all up in their passion. Um, they, someone walked away from the, the someone here, with this devil energy going on. Right now, I'm not seeing a specific masculine, um, except for the page of swords, who's this immature, you know, energy, spying energy. Someone's watching, who's watching, but, you know, they're like, they were immature, They're manifesting um, their empress back. I'm not picking up on, th that's what the focus is on manifesting. Like, how can I get back into the good graces of my empress? Um, I was playing with fire. That's why I said fire, I think. This, um, they feel stuck right now because they're stuck in this situation with the queen of wands they they put their the um the gemini a lot of gemini energy here by the way the uh magician is gemini but they put their the person they were in a in a new beginning with or trying to have a new beginning with and they walked away for the devil energy at a distance right here the queen of wands um they're trying to figure out how do i have a new beginning I'm so, I'm in such regret over what I did to, to my Gemini person. Okay. So Aries, um, you know, if this isn't you, it could be your person is thinking about the a Gemini who is their empress. Um, take it how it resonates. Yeah. There's conflicts there. They're, that's why they're thinking about how can I, how can I get back into the good graces of this Gemini who was my empress? Like they, this person, this, my, the star, like they have hope. They have hope that they're going back to, they're going back to this person who is the same person, the it's like they put them in, uh, their empress in the queen of swords energy, um, by either walking away from them or putting them in a competition with the queen of wands. Um, but they've healed the, the queen of swords is healed and, and they're back into their, um, empress energy. Now, these were seeds that were planted in the past with this person. Um, you know, they're trying to figure out how they can grow seeds again with this person and bring them into fruition, how they can bring healing um, between them and the Empress. What's this? What's this? Yep. Knight of Cups. They're all up in their feels and their emotions right now about it. I think they're trying to find strength to get to walk away from something here um, this devil energy. Tell me about the, the queen of, of wands. Tell me about the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm don't shoot the messenger, please. So nightmares, they're like having nightmares about this fire sign. Um, yeah. Oh, so there's been a lot of betrayal. There's been a lot of backstabbing. Um, you know, I, I'm getting the feeling that this is not, this was a lesson that had to be learned for maybe both you and, um, and the other person here. Um, getting the, the feeling that both of you are in some pretty uh, codependent behaviors and that there's been a lot of betrayal back and forth between the two of you. Um, I feel like you guys might be in a, um, karmic cycle and, you know, Aries, if this is you, you know, it's okay to get out of this cycle. Um, 
yeah, we finally have a masculine here. So, you know, maybe you were seeing this masculine as your Ace of Cups. Um, but here's the thing, like the Ace of Cups is beautiful. Uh, the cup, you know, floweth over, but also uh, the cup runs dry, right? Like eventually it's empty. And you're seeing the cycles of the moon in this card. So um, I just, I'm feeling like this cycle is coming to an end with this King of Pentacles. There's a lot of secrets. This person is hiding that they are in love with this person over here, that they actually want to be with that, this person, the Empress. They, um, I think they're, they're thinking about making a decision uh, about this. And if it's not them, yeah, they're making the decision, I think, to put this, um, energy down, um, here, this, uh, this, they're, they're closing out a cycle with, because of third parties and juggling. Okay, there's there's some stuff going on here between you and this person, Aries, that um, uh, I don't, it, this is, uh, there's concern, right? There's a lot of concern about this relationship. This person is always thinking about their empress. I can't make it up. I'm sorry to bring this, you know, in, in, this could be you, it could be them, but it's someone's thinking about you know, adjudicating, going, if, if you're in a long-term commitment, if you married this person, uh, this is what's on their mind. They're thinking about walking away from this connection that has been, you know, a nightmare, probably for both of you. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's, it's all your fault, Aries. Um, but it just, it seems like it, it's over false person, right? Like I can't, I can't even make it up. Someone it feels trapped, imprisoned. Um, you know, I feel like they're, the false person is both of you, um, you know, staying in something for the wrong reasons. One of, one of you is, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, there needs to be a change. Like, there's someone else out there for you, Aries. There's, there's this, there's some, the, the person, this is not your person. So, some, there's a privileged aspect to this of someone feeling that they're privileged. We've got someone in bad health. Um, because of juggling, I, I can't make it up. So there's third parties, like there might be STDs involved here, um, codependent behaviors, you know, sexual addictions, um, you know, substance addictions, um, someone who can't just be by themselves, uh, just codependent in, in nature. Um, someone's in it for the money. Uh, but, but spirit is saying like, it, it, it's time to, it, it's time for, for this to come to a close. Um, because, uh, you know, it's, it's like, this is a void relationship because it's karmic in nature. It it's void. It's, it's inevitable that it is going to come to an end. I'm sorry to say it, but. Um, there's no stability here and there never was, is what my, my guy literally just said. There never was, um, both people were in this for the wrong reasons. And, um, this was a spiritual lesson. This is a karmic lesson. Um, you guys have both learned the lesson and it's literally like time for you both to go your, honestly, your separate ways because there's someone else out there for you, Aries. Yeah, your emperor is waiting for you, Aries. Okay, and the empress, the empress's emperor is also right here with, oof, okay, the justice card, which is, I mean, that is justice for you to have your emperor and the empress over here to have her emperor. Um, that is the justice, and that's what they want you to know. 
um, it's time to release. It's time to let this person go. It's time for this person to let you go. Um, because, you know, you guys, between you, it's this. Uh, this is not true love. So it's time to reevaluate your, your, you know, where you see yourself in life. What, what do you want? Do you want to be loved truly at the end of the day? Do you want to be with someone that truly, truly loves you? Or are you settling for, um, someone because you, um, can't stand the thought of losing them, even though they're not for you or losing what comes with them, you know, may it be wealth, may it be, I, I don't care, whatever it is, they're not meant for you. And that's what spirit's trying to say, um, to both of you that you guys are equally, you know, that this is both of you equally, you are with someone that you're not meant to be with. And it's bringing you nothing but, um, turmoil in your lives. And, you know, it's time spirit is saying now is the time for you, you to, to, you know, come into that point of your life where you do have some happiness, right? You end that karmic cycle. Um, it, it's time for that cycle to be over and like completely closed out for good this time. There's no returning, right? Like you don't, you don't go back this time. So that's the advice, you know, that's what I'm getting. As I said, I'm an intuitive reader. Um, I just read what the cards tell me and I read what my guides are telling me. I, I listen to what they want me to say to you. Um, and those are their messages to you. So Aries, you guys take care. I hope you guys have a great new year. Um, and I will see you guys next year. Take care, Aries. Bye.